Hi guys, Serial Simmer here. Welcome back to our aspiration challenge and our little mini series here, The Friends of the Animals. What I'm kind of thinking this time is that we really need to focus, really, really, really need to focus on earning some money. We are just so dang poor. <laughs> And we have like basically this whole family that we're really wanting to combine into our household. We started a relationship with Bernice Robles after her husband Ian passed away. Um, so yeah, we are currently dating her. We're soulmates, she's our girlfriend. We have amazing compatibility with her. She's also our best friend. She taught us how to fish, which really got us started. Um, and she's a key holder. We have a key to our house. So Roxanne's sentiments, she's got a lot. Growing closer from quality time. She adores Bernice. They both deeply connected. Bernice remembers when Roxanne listened to her problems and shared some thoughtful advice. And they're closer from happy memories. They did go on a date last time to the movie theater in San Sequoia, which is um, really close to where Bernice's family currently is. Bernice also has two children and she lives with her father. So that's three additional Sims that would come with her. Plus we have our three pets that come with us. So if we combined everyone, that is a full household, a total of eight Sims in the household. So we need to build a house that has like roughly five bedrooms. And I'm thinking of basically making another bedroom or like a mudroom type room for the animals where I can have like three pet beds, a couple animal feeders, maybe the litter box could go in there as well. I really just like love this family and I'm gonna be so sad to say goodbye to them. And maybe that's why this time I'm really wanting to focus um, not necessarily on our aspiration. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of extend this little mini series just a little bit, I think, by not necessarily focusing on our aspiration this time. So yeah, we're gonna focus on our garden. We're gonna focus on our plants. We have about 42, 4,500 reward points. So if we could get 500 more, we could get the money tree. Okay, so this is my this is my thought process. I want that darn money tree, you guys, so bad. Because if we can get that, give me a few days to kind of grind through. I won't make you guys watch all of it, but we will finally have enough money. And then the next video could maybe be a build video of us getting this house put together. Anyways, that's a ton of talking. It's a ton of behind the scenes stuff. Why don't we go ahead and jump in here and um, start playing? So everyone is currently sleeping. It looks like Snook is outside. I remember in the last part, we had just let her out. So I wonder if that's why she's outside. That's the other thing. We just our house is just not very pet friendly. We need like a pet door so they can feel free to come and go as they please. Um, obviously, we need a much bigger kitchen and she constantly has the buff that is um, sore from sleeping on a cheap bed. We got to we got to take care of Roxanne. This is getting ridiculous. Aging up in 13 days as well. So we have a little bit of time, but I don't want to leave um, too much time for neighborhood stories to do things with Bernice's family. Watch them like adopt another pet or something. And then we don't have room in our household um, for that pet. And of course, Snook is back over here. So hopefully we don't get bit by a squirrel. Oh, we've been sprayed by a skunk. Gross, that lingering smell. Oh, and she's peeing like as soon as she gets out. Oh my gosh. That was just a lot of grossness right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the night here. Looks like we are actually good at five and I think Roxanne is probably pretty feeling pretty dang motivated to um, earn some money. And in the last part, we did become companions with Cod Pickles, but we aren't companions with Fiona yet. So it'd be nice if we could do that as well. So maybe let's go ahead and work on the feeling the love one, just so that we can get those extra points or maybe being friends with 12 cats and our dogs because we've already kind of made our way halfway through that. And we got Cod Pickles in here singing us a song. Thank you very much, buddy. And then our garden needs to be taken care of. So we will weed all and then see how much we can get. Go ahead and fill this bowl. And then we do need to feel the love with our pets believe with eight different pets is the goal. Yep. Oh no, Fiona is drinking from the puddle. <gasps> Snook found us some more feathers. Yay, good job, Snook. What's up with our animals eating and drinking each other's excrements? So gross. Okay, let's go to pet care as well and um, give a bath. And we'll go ahead and open this. Snook, where are you going? Hello? Come back, it's bath time. We got another spotted six and feather, a pigeon feather, and a crow feather. I believe we've gotten all of those before, which just means, whoa, Snook, are you gonna take a bath or not? Which means that we will go ahead and sell those. Yeah, we've got a pigeon, crow, and spotted six of them. So that's just money, baby. That's just money. 
260. Oh, and Fiona is in the bush now. Okay, how many points? We are at 48. Mm, nasty. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Fiona didn't like that. Let's go ahead and become companions with Fiona. I think that would be so nice. Do you think we'll become companions with her up here or will she get down? Whoa, she's getting down. Roxanne and Fiona are becoming companions. Aww. Oh, who's Snook? Snook, if you eat that, I swear. <gasps> Did she do it? Beg to stop eating the poop. <gasps> oh no! Did you see that? She just heard cod pickles, Snook. What on earth? Okay, well, we learned to stop eating, but why did she do that? Cod Pickles was probably like, you're not listening to mom. And then she like beat him up for that. Pet care, let out. You go, go burn off some energy. Go, you go. I'm just like upset with you right now. Oh, Cod Pickles. Oh, he's scared of the computer. Oh, so is Fiona, okay. Well, I guess we like video gaming, but our animals are not so sure about that. That makes sense, actually. My puppy pretty much reacts the same way when there are animals on my screen, at least. Calm down, Cod Pickles. I can't believe that. Snook, I cannot believe that you hurt your brother. Let's maybe go ahead and take Snook on a jog and maybe we can try to earn our last like 200 points here. We're gonna go for a jog. Burn off some energy. Snook is like being crazy. Poor cod pickles. So for us to take you though, you have to stop chewing that. Whoa, hey, there's another bowl outside. Do not growl at the cat for eating food. Jeez, looks like we didn't end up taking a shower either because we were too busy handling all of our pets being crazy today. Oh, here's Mickey. Why don't we go ahead and try to be friends with Mickey? Let's give him a treat. Here, go go run around, Snook. We're just gonna go ahead and maybe like offer some friendship. Oh, hey, uh, is it Brant? That's Brant. I always get them confused, Brant and Brent. Oh, Fiona came with us. She's the best cat in the world. All right, so. Be friends with 12 cats and a gods. Okay, so we made it to six. Oh, he's hungry. Wait, did I just give you? I thought I just gave you some food. Oh, do you want some more food? I can give you some more food. I will do it. Oh, Snook's feeling a little bit like he needs or she needs to be brushed here. Mickey just wanted some more food. Here's another treat for Mickey. Then we're gonna brush Snook. <gasps> oh, look at King, what a baby. Snook is like, thank you. I was getting really itchy. We do need to go into cast, kind of upgrade um, Roxanne's look as well as kind of get rid of this for every outfit on Snook. I don't think that that makes that much sense. Hey, King. Oh, King is going to go to sleep. Um, I'm going to be mean and wake you up. Also, I don't know why it says you're sleeping when you're clearly meowing very, very loudly. Clearly not asleep. Sir? He's like, I'm not sleeping, lady. I'm right here. Well, why can't we interact with you? It's just not meant to be. Oh, there's somebody else over here. You guys, is this Rosie? Wash your dog. What is wrong with you? I'm calling PPS. Pet Protective Services. She's gone home. Maybe she just got dirty just now. Uh -huh. <gasps> it's Fiona. She's so crazy. She just runs around like a total wild cat on the beach. It's so cute. Oh, feathers. Oh, what? Is that Frankie? Who is that? Golby? Interesting. I haven't seen you before. Hello, Golby. We'll see if we can meet them. Oh, that's Rhea. I love that I know them all. And we got two common upgrade parts. Yay. Wah. She just abandoned everything and was like, nope, I'm taking a shower right here. A broken fossil. Please introduction. Okay, give a vet treat to Golby. And remember, guys, we cannot adopt any more animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, excuse me. We were trying to fix you. Wait, it didn't say you were a stray, did it? No, it didn't. You're probably this guy's... Wait. What? Ugh. I was trying to help that animal. <gasps> a baby. It's Wally. What's wrong, Wally? Do you need a vet treat? Oh, he's going to dig there. Oh my gosh, Wally is so cute. I wish we could adopt him. Do you need just like some food maybe? We have food. I love how we're trying to earn money and I'm just over here feeding all the pets. Gosh dang it, we need this money tree so that we can do this. Your name keeps popping up at the pub in Finchwick. You should stop by sometime. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what, were we friends with seven? <gasps> We've got the 5,000 points. Okay, reward store. Money tree. Gimme, gimme, gimme now. All right, so I'm going to let Roxanne fish here for just a little bit. We might be able to get some good fertilizer for our plants. I believe fish are really good for that. Bernice is here. Hey, darling. Huh? Let's invite her to come fish with us. Maybe we can mentor you now. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Oh, you can go potty just anywhere. These are our unofficial pets. Oh my gosh, how cute is this, you guys? Roxanne looks so happy. How cute is this? Whoa, we got a rainbow fish. Oh wow, it looks like a good spot for catching rainbow fish because Bernice just got one as well. Ooh, we can evolve some plants. Did we never sell these this morning? Oh my gosh, we gotta go sell all. Dude, are you seriously eating poop? I thought he learned not to eat poop. Cod Pickles has defeated a wild squirrel. Oh my gosh, Snook. Snook's favorite dessert is cat poop. It's disgusting, but true. Okay, well today we have pretty much done everything that we can on our garden. We planted our money tree and um, it just hasn't really grown yet. We've talked to the plants today. Um, we've done all the rest of our gardening and we have about $4,000 now, which is, you know, we're doing good. Almost $4,400. We fed the pets. Or um, maybe let's go and visit um, Bernice or we could go somewhere th together. So we decided to go to the rec center with Bernice and her family. So we've got Bernice, we've got her dad, Ignacio, and we've got their child, Terrence. Um, so yeah, I am thinking let's hang out here for a little while and maybe play with Terrence. Maybe we could do a puzzle together. Um, but our gardening for the day is pretty much wrapped up. I guess we could go and even go fishing here for a little bit with Bernice, since that is something that Roxanne and Bernice seem to really enjoy doing. I'm going to go ahead and have Roxanne pick up Terrence. And then maybe we could even ask Ignacio today for his blessing to marry Bernice. Jabeen. Okay, so we just asked him about some San Sequoia secrets and he said, I like to put a lot of energy into community work. I suppose I could put my time into other hobbies more often, but it matters to me to make this place a good place to raise a family. My great, great grandpa saw a lot of potential here when he first moved out to start a fishing trade and I intend to keep that legacy going. Feels like he's kind of pressuring as like he's probably heard Roxanne and... Um, Bernice chatting about moving in together and potentially moving over to Brindleton Bay where Roxanne is as it's a nice area um, and Roxanne will be able to finish her aspiration there but it sounds like Ignacio doesn't really like that idea it sounds like he's got really deep roots his great great grandpa saw a lot of potential here when he first moved out to start a fishing trade which is interesting because fishing is kind of our thing so it sounds like he's probably like, you guys should definitely stay in San Sequoia. You should move here to be with our family, which is an interesting idea. I don't think we're necessarily going to be making that decision today. So if you guys do have an opinion on whether or not we should stay in Brindleton Bay and move the Robles family in with us or go ahead and move 
us and our pets to San Sequoia and build a house here, you should definitely let me know. And please let me know like which neighborhood you guys would rather be. And I think there's fishing spots in each and every one of those neighborhoods. This is much of a more like child friendly neighborhood. There's definitely some good, um, areas to hang out with your kids as well as like several different fishing spots. I guess we could try to build a house here on this 40 by 20 lot, this super strange one. Um, but there's also, I believe some houses, here's a lot right here we could build on that wouldn't be bad. It's not exactly like the prettiest, but it is close to um, the gardens and the walking paths. I don't know. Now I'm kind of liking the idea of moving to San Sequoia. I don't know. Yeah. You guys let me know. All right. Well, let's take Terrence inside here. Maybe Bernice is just checking in Terrence to the kids center. Maybe we could go ahead and tell Terrence a story here and brighten their day. Maybe even like get to know. Let's go ahead and test the waters with the marriage idea with Bernice and just see what she thinks about that. It might be a little bit soon for her to be thinking about another marriage so soon after she was widowed. Oh, it looks like that went over really well, actually. Okay, Terrence is out of here. I kind of wish she couldn't just like leave, but oh, it looks like Judith is pregnant. Okay, we're going to go into MC Command Center and see what's going on with that. She is pregnant with a little girl. With Christopher Volk. <laughs> oh, interesting. Change game. Let's do puzzles and let's play. Let's do puzzles with Ignacio and Bernice. I think that would be really fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've completely forgotten about the repeal signatures again. Well, maybe that's another reason to move out of, move out of Brindleton Bay. Bernice is just up here playing some video games while we are downstairs. Could you come to sit with us? How do I, oh my gosh, this person, Jay Robles has passed out. Jay Robles? Oh, is that her brother? We should meet them. Maybe they will come downstairs to meet us. We should see if we say like, ask about day, will Bernice come downstairs as well? Oh, okay, J Judith, I kind of want you to leave. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat Judith away. Bye Judith, can you take your paparazzi with you? That would be so great. I love how Father Winter is over here and the paparazzi is like not interested in that. Wait, 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 we need to meet you. Come back, come back, come back. Jay is a freelancer at Tar Sis Freelancers. Cool. Getting to know the extended family here. All right, well, it is about five o'clock. I feel like we could probably go home and maybe work on earning a bit more money. I think we had like a really fun day. Clean the litter box. Where's our cow plant at? Is it in our inventory? Oh my gosh. How has this happened to us? <gasps> it is in our inventory. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I completely forgot about our cow plant. I'm sorry for any of you who noticed that and were like upset with me. Should we name our cow plant? Let's just name our cow plant fish. Castaway, have a sim reach max level in the fishing skill. Roxanne has reached fishing skill level 10. Roxanne is a true master of the fishing craft. The most elusive and difficult sea creatures prove no match in other sims and be Roxanne's finesse and technique. Roxanne has mastered the art of trapping and can now have the maximum of six fish traps. Excuse me. The legendary gold Mahi Mahi can now be found in appropriate ocean waters. Ooh, Solani. All right. I think that's probably enough fishing for today. We are about to bust. It is rebate day. Oh my gosh, that would be the perfect day to build. We owe $170. Bernice is here. Bernice is feeling really sad again, so maybe we should go ahead and console them. Snook's working hard for some more feathers. And we need to go work hard on our garden. Our money plant still has not grown, but we do have our birds of paradise now, so that's great. Sell all. All right, so she's going to head home now. Better clean out the litter box before Snook eats it again. No! Cod pickles! Stop that. Lecture about eating poop. Stop. Everybody stop everything you're doing. Give bath to Snook after. Don't you do that anymore. 
Cod Pickles has learned to not eat poop. Amazing that I had to teach you that. What? Oh my gosh. Snook doesn't like baths, I think. Yikes. Snook has been bitten. Okay, now maybe we can bathe them. Are you looking a little sick here, Snook? Or are you doing good? <gasps> We've got a tiny little plant over here. We need to go ahead and water our little fish over here. Oh, Bernice is here again. Holy cow. Invite in. Let's do a comforting hug with Snook, and then I think it might be nice to have them all be nice to... Oh my gosh, we forgot to repeal again. We failed again. I failed again on that. So I think we're going to have Snook go and be nice to Bernice. It'd be nice if all of our pets knew her, I think. Ten days till we age up. Rebate day was awful. Yeah. Sounds about right when you're saving so you can build a house for like a billion people. I'm really confused. Why didn't these guys bloom today? Is that just a bug? Oh, and Winterfest is tomorrow. Be great to be in a new house by then, but I don't think that our money tree will have grown by then. So it might be a lonely Winterfest this year. I'm gonna basically just be grinding through a lot of these days. So if you're not seeing a lot of stuff, that's probably why. I'm gonna clean the litter box before either of the dogs eats it. Little stinky nasties. And today is Winterfest. I would love the present of a money tree that is fully grown. Oh no, that doesn't look like that's going to be what we're getting. Maybe I'll go fishing so that I have a good fertilizer for it. Why are my plants not blooming every day? Am I having a bug, you guys? I like don't know. Like, do, can I even... Is that gardening state? Blossoming? It doesn't look like that's going to change anything. Okay, so I think I might get her to finish writing Snook the Angel. I know we haven't done that in forever, but I am like struggling with this garden because it doesn't seem to want to grow. And today is supposed to be Winterfest and I'm not feeling very festive because we just don't have that much money. Roxanne, I'm officially a dog parent now. I knew this was going to happen. I'd love for you to stop by if you have time to say hi. I don't want to do it. No, I'm not coming over to see your dog because... We don't have room for it. What are we going to do? Hello, mate. We would love for you to come visit us in Henford on Bagley. No, oh, thank you. Everybody's trying to get us to move to San Sequoia, Henford on Bagley. Okay, so I think today let's go and visit the Robles. And I'm going to make a ham dinner this time. Because last time on Harvest Fest, we went and visited them. And I made a winter cake. Because I felt like that was a festive thing to do. But apparently that didn't count. And we had a bad holiday. So <gasps> what an achievement. Roxanne finished writing an entire book. And Snook and them are fighting. Stop the fight. Friendly. Lecture about attacking. Oh my gosh. Friendly. Be nice to Snook. Pod Pickles has learned not to attack. Good. No, oh, and Bernice is here. I got a special gift for you. Aw, on Winterfest you didn't. That is so sweet. Aw, that's so cute. What did we get? I won Would You Believe Stallion, a homemade gift. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so let's resume the ham dinner and then we could maybe like invite her to cook it with us and then we'll go back to their place. Oh my gosh, this is her pet. This is her dog, Bacon. Oh my actual gosh. Yeah, we don't want to meet you anyways, Bacon. It's too sad. What are we gonna do? Am I supposed to like... Let's go call everyone to the grand meal. Do we have a dining table here? Oh, we do. I should have put it over there. Maybe I'll put this one over there. Let's see if anyone takes that one. Just maybe get to know her other son. Is in the Llama Scout pack number one. Cool. We can go ahead and small talk, share Winterfest spirit with Bernice. Friendly, affection, give gift. I'm going to give you a Winterfest gift. Where's that ducky? Happy Christmas, Terrence. Okay, so now I feel weird that I don't have one for... Oh, boom! Maybe some liquid fresh. <laughs> Let's see if he likes that. I want to give him something. Can't just give one of the kids something and not the other kid. Ah, uh, Prezu. 
Did he like it? I think he did. Oh, good. All right, I think we'll say goodbye to these guys for now. I'm kind of wondering, guys, we could move into this house and say, like, Ignacio and just, like, update it, maybe? Oh, my gosh, was that Ian? That's Ian. Is he mad? He looks P.O.'d. <laughs> How did he die? Oh, that's right, on a mountain. He was trying to conquer the mountain, but the mountain conquered him. Yeah, he's definitely upset. Okay, guys, that makes me like the idea of moving into this house even more. So we don't take the $20,000 that comes with their family, but we go ahead and um, reduce the amount to whatever Roxanne had. What do you guys think about that? We'll have to get rid of bacon though. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. My plants all died while I was gone. They all just poop. Winterfest was successful. Well, that's good. I'm glad she had a good time. I think we would have gotten some aspiration points from that. So that's good. All right, you guys, well, we definitely have tried our best to grind. Um, I'm sorry, what? Why did fish die? I'm so heartbroken right now. We fed him just before we left. It's not like we were gone for that long. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. That our money plant, our money plant still hasn't grown. How many days do we have left? Ugh, I was really going to just grind this out, guys. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do probably is move Roxanne into the Robles household. And we will just update the Robles household. And I think it's kind of a fun idea to keep Ian and his ghost sort of on that lot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. We'll go ahead and pack everything up. And then in the next part, I believe, we will just go ahead and move everything there. Maybe we'll build a greenhouse or like a sunroom extension onto that house and sort of like renovate it to make it a little more Roxanne and Bernice, perhaps have them get engaged in the next part. And um, when we're focusing on Roxanne's friends of the animal aspiration, which is the point of this, it has kind of devolved into other things since we have sort of fallen in love with these characters. We'll have to come back to Brindleton Bay Beach to go ahead and continue working on that. So that'll kind of be the thing that Roxanne does, I think, sort of like for her job. So yeah, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here. If you do have opinions on whether or not we should move to Santa Coya, I do think that's what I'm gonna do for right now. You'll need to comment in the um, section below after watching this video so that I know how you feel about that. That, let me know. Let me know where you think we should live. Should we build our own house? Should we just move in with the Robles? Um, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. But yeah, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any updates when we put out the next episode. And um, like this video if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!